I promised you, I promised you four years ago that I would never lie to you. So I can't stand here tonight and say it doesn't hurt. It's now apparent that the American people have chosen you that, as the next president. I congratulate you and pledge to you our fullest support and cooperation in bringing about an orderly transition of government in the weeks ahead. My best wishes are with you and your family as you undertake the responsibilities that lie before you. And I signed it, Jimmy Carter. Just a few minutes ago, I called Vice President Bush and congratulated him on his victory. And I want to... And I know I speak for all of you and for all the American people when I say that he will be our president and we'll work with him. This nation faces major challenges ahead and we must work together. We should see it that the people have spoken and we respect the majesty of the democratic system. I just called the Governor Clinton over in Little Rock and offered my congratulations. He did run a strong campaign. I wish him well in the White House and uh, I want the country to know that our entire administration will work closely with his team to ensure the smooth transition of power. There is important work to be done and America must always come first. So we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. Just moments ago, I spoke with George W. Bush and congratulated him on becoming the 43rd president of the United States. And I promised him that I wouldn't call him back this time. I offered to meet with him as soon as possible so that we can start to heal the division of the campaign and the contest in which we But in an American election, there are no losers. Because whether or not our candidates are successful, the next morning, we all wake up as Americans. A little while ago, I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him, please, to congratulate him on being elected the next president of the country that we both love. In a contest as long and difficult as this campaign has been, his success alone commands my respect for his ability and perseverance but that he managed to do so by inspiring the hopes of so many millions of Americans who had once wrongly believed that they had little at stake or little influence in the election of an American president is something I deeply admire and commend him for achieving. Last night, I congratulated Donald Trump and offered to work with him on behalf of our country. I hope that he will be a successful president for all Americans.